Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Vijayan and today we are starting with a new series where I teach you how to build a shopping list app with React Native and Firebase. So first of all, what you will learn from this project. So we will be using React Native Expo Manage to create our project. So you will learn how to initialize a project in Expo. We will also preview our app uh, on the simulator while we are coding. So you will learn how you can run your app at the same time you are coding. We will be building multiple custom components and design them using style components. So you will learn that. And we'll also use some of the hooks and state like use state, use effect hooks, etc. And this will not be a static app. Uh, we will connect it to the Firebase and we use Firestore for our all the uh, database management. So you will learn how you can create a connection between Firebase and React Native app. And we will perform all CRUD operation, create, read, update and delete the data from Firestore. So before going into further, let me just show you the demo of the video. So here is the app that we will be building. So as you can see, we have a heading called shopping list. Uh, these are the number of items that are present in our app. So currently in our list, we have no items. That's why it's uh, zero right now. Here is the delete button. Uh, using this delete button, we can delete all the item at once. Here you can see the today's date we have a beautiful logo in the background we have a new button so user can click on this button and a prompt will be open so here you can write anything let's say milk and if i press on add it will be added to the list let me add another let's say bread add let's say drinks add so right now we have total three items that's why it's showing three over here so if you already purchased drinks then you can check mark on this and as you can see the icon will be changed and the color of this item will also be changed so if you change your mind and you don't need bread so you can click on this delete button and it will be deleted if you want to delete the entire list then you can click on this delete button and all the item from the list will be gone so you will learn how to create this beautiful app from the ground up you will learn how to uh, use react hooks and state to manage the states you can learn how to create a firebase connection to the react native expo app and how to use firestore to add and delete data so let's get back to our presentation so what you need to build this project so first of all you need node installed on your machine we'll be using multiple npm packages so you need npm also installed on your machine uh, we will use react native expo so right now you don't need to install the uh, react native expo libraries uh, before starting the project uh, you can run a single command from the expo cli to download all the dependency at once so open your browser and type react native expo go to the expo go to the docs here installation here in the installation process click on the expo cli
okay so you can copy this command npx create expo app and here you can type the name of your app on your terminal or command prompt if you are on windows machine just like that you can search for node and you can download node uh, the latest version for node uh, on mac or windows if you are using in windows machine and you can use the npm package as well so and the last thing we need is android studio because we are going to preview our app uh, on a simulator so if you are using windows machine then you need to use android studio to open the android emulator and if you are using mac then you can also download xcode from the app store so that you can also preview your app on ios simulator so this whole project uh, will consist of a front-end part and the back-end part so first we uh, create front-end part we will create beautiful design using javascript and react native syntax we will create this custom components as you can see if i click on add and type let's say milk and add this is our custom component it has a check icon it has the text and it also has a delete button it has some border radius and background color so you will learn how to create that and using style component also so that's it for this video from the next one we will start to initiate our project in react native expo and start doing the coding thanks for watching it